Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? That crazy Cardinals fan, crazy bird, Cardinals Sun 21, whatever you want to call me. Just don't call me late for dinner. Back at it again with another video. Um, here with my man, crazy bird, uh, big red. Nice little big cardboard cutout I got from my friend a while back. I love it. Here to talk to you about, obviously, if you haven't heard by now, Last, over the weekend, Kyler Murray deleted all the Cardinal stuff, related stuff, from his Twitter account. Now, obviously, that's alarming. That's, that's incredibly concerning. Um, because usually when that happens, it means something, something poop hit the fan at some point. With him and possibly Bidwell and Cotton. Um... There are all these rumors going around saying, oh, they're, they're going to trade him. I'm hearing the Eagles are dropping a bunch of assets to try to get him. Um, a false rumor going around about the Falcons getting him and whatnot. But we all know this is the last year of his rookie deal. And, and uh, this is last year of his rookie contract. And he's going to get a contract extension. And that's obviously... Trying to get the organ, what he's doing right now is trying to get the organization's attention in a very passive aggressive way, in my opinion, to say, "Hey, give me the money, give me an extension. Let's stop. Let's talk extensions." And obviously, I guarantee you, Bidwell and Kime kind of said, "Not right now. We're not ready to have these talks yet," and which led to everything that's everything that's going on with Kyler Murray right now. And honestly, I'm on the side of the organization. I'm on the side of the organization. And it's, I'm not, I'm, if you know the Cardinals fan base, you'll know there are two sides right now. There's a civil war going on within this fan base. Half of it wants to keep Kyler. The other half of it wants to say, F it, trade him. He's no good. Bye, midget. You know? I'm on the half where I want to keep him, but that doesn't mean I'm happy with what's going on right now. And in fact, I'm kind of pissed. I am I'm trying to keep it down because I have a uh, my parents are having a card game thing going on right now, so I can't really yell very much. But I think it's kind of immature, in my opinion. I don't think he's ready for a contract extension. If you if we went to the, into this Rams game, even if we lost this Rams game, and we were competitive. Murray looked great. He looked, he stumbled here and there. That may have cost us the game, but he looked good. He looked poised. And I can I can definitely side with him in the argument that he deserves a contract extension. But it's the fact that he did not perform well in that play. I was so genuinely. It was not. It was not just him. It wasn't just him. It was everybody. Kingsbury, Kyler, the team in general. They did not look like they want. They did. They didn't even look like they wanted to be there. They were just. They were just all content. It's like, oh, we made the playoffs. We don't need to try hard. This is as far as we want to get. And basically said, screw it. We'll we'll, we'll show up, but we won't show out. You know. Um. I am in the realm of I'm saying that he does not deserve a contract extension. Not yet. I want to see him do well. When he does well, the team does well. I remember eating crow when we drafted him because I was incredibly upset seeing how we just drafted Rosen literally a year from that date, thinking that we were going to be the next in Cleveland Browns drafting quarterback after quarterback each year. I was so genuinely pissed. But seeing Kyler Murray play brought hope. It brought hope because he is a dynamic player. He, you, with his short stature, I mean, I don't use his, I don't think his height's an excuse. He's only an eighth of an inch shorter than um, Russell Wilson. Look what Russell Wilson's done. He's won a fucking Super Bowl, for God's sakes. And the height's not an excuse. He is a dynamic player. He can run. He can extend plays with his legs. We all remember the Hale Murray last year. I still remember it fondly. I remember exactly where I was sitting. He's a dynamic player, and 
but I don't think he's quite there yet. I think this this coming season has to be a breakout year for him, um, both on the field and on the sidelines. What really frustrates me about Kyler Murray is, he, to my opinion, from what I'm seeing, is I th he lacks leadership. He what? It, when the moment poop hits the fan during a game, especially second half, we all remember how that second half of the year went. When poop hits the fan, at the 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 moment poop hits the fan, we we see Kyler Murray on the bench. He he has his arms crossed. There's like this little pouty look on his face. He looks like he looks like a pouting toddler that just got denied a cookie from his mother. It's sad. It sucks. Because when stuff like that happens, you, you look at, you see a lot of other elite quarterbacks. Um, Joe Burrow. I can say Joe Burrow because he's in the Super Bowl now. Um, Lamar Jackson. Tom Brady. Tom Brady of all people. Even, God help me, Aaron Rodgers. They're up there. They're go walking back and forth along that sideline. And telling their... Talking to their teammates, encouraging them, telling them what they expect, and we'll get them. You know that we'll get it done next time. This is what we're going to do different. Encouraging, motivating. That's you don't see that with Murray, and that's incredibly alarming. He's very, he's very, um, what's the word? It's not, it's not self-centered. He's very to himself, and that's frustrating you don't see that amongst elite quarterbacks in the nfl he lacks leadership and when you're the quarterback in a professional football team you're supposed to be you're supposed to be a leader at the very minimum one of the leaders and that's incredibly frustrating from what i'm hearing i i get my info i i listen to for those who are in the valley and i have a cardinals fan like myself um, i listen to 98.7 i listen to, listen to burns and gamble i listen to um, uh, um, not, not, Bur yeah, Burns and Gambo, and they, they switch, I can't, uh, brain fart, um, uh, Bigley and Murata, now they're on the morning shows, and I get a lot of my points from them, they, they, they're spot on, he, from what I'm hearing from them, is he doesn't even watch game film, and game film's critical when you're playing in the NFL, um, it's frustrating. It's frustrating. I'm not putting all the blame on him, but he does deserve to have some of it. And part of me wonders if what if we had a coach like Andy Reid? Well, if we had a quarterback guru like Andy Reid or one of the other elite coaches out there in the NFL, how would this team look? How would Kyler Murray look under one of these coaches? Kingsbury is not the guy. He's not the guy. I already made a video frustrated I am with him. I don't think he should, deserves to be on this team because he has a history of collapsing and not adjusting as the season goes on. That's a, that's a, I can make another rant for another day, but this is about Kyler Murray. Um, but it's frustrating. I don't think he, he should be pouting like the way he is. I think he should use this as a prove it, a prove it thing. Um... <laughs> We all kind of saw. I mean, it can go either way. We all kind of saw how Chandler Jones is going. Um, was frustrated with the team uh, literally a year ago because um, he hasn't get he didn't get an extension. And week one, he looked dynamic. He looked he looked like he looked like Aaron Donald two point in, in a sense because he had he recorded five sacks against Ryan Tannehill against um, week one against Tennessee then. After that, he was basically non-existent. He had a decent game here and there, but that's it. That's it. And honestly, I think we're going to let Chandler Jones walk, but it depends on how he's going to take it. I'm hoping he uses this as fuel. I'm hoping he goes in the next season with a fire lit under his ass to play like he's never played before. And he's perfectly capable. We've all seen how Kyler Murray plays when he, when, when he has that fire in his eyes, when he's determined and it's it's he's got he's got to do it for 17 games next year he's got to prove he can do it in the playoffs assuming kingsbury can get us in the playoffs but i'm hoping that's what he does 
I'm hoping, I'm hoping there's no pot stirring from here on out. We'll have to see. But that will do it, guys. What do you think of the Kyler Murray situation? And yeah, I want to hear your thoughts. And I will see you next time with more Cardinals news. I'm planning on hopefully doing some. Maybe I will do some power rankings. Maybe I'll do some draft predictions as as we get closer to April. So we'll we'll go from there. I'll do it, guys. Have a great day. Uh, have a great weekend or great week and a weekend. And I'll see you next time.